Objective 9.8b, calculate the efficiency of energy transfers between trophic levels and percentage calculations of biomass. Now, not all the energy is stored as new biomass and is therefore not transferred to the next trophic level. The energy is actually lost from the food chain as the organism uses it up for life processes such as movement, respiration and reproduction. This frog, for example, now it's not going to be able to digest all of that grasshopper it eats. Uh, so some of the energy is not transferred. It's not going to get all that biomass and store it as new biomass. The frog will also use some of the energy that it gets for movement, respiration, reproduction. And this means that not all the energy that it gains, it can then pass on. And some materials are not even absorbed and are just egested as feces. So again, it's not storing that energy. And we can show these sort of energy transfers between trophic levels using a Sankey diagram. You can calculate the efficiency of energy transfer by using the equation, uh, the energy transferred to biomass over the total energy that's supplied to the organism. So in this case, we've got plant material that's eaten by the caterpillar. Now it ate 200 joules, but only 33 of that has gone into growth to increase the biomass. 100 of it was just completely lost in its feces and it used 67 of it in cellular respiration. So if we want to work out the efficiency, we do 33 out of 200, which gives us 0 0.165. You can show this as one, or you could times it by 100 to get it as a percentage. Now we can measure the biomass of all the organisms at each trophic level in a food chain. And we can then represent this as a pyramid of biomass. Here is a food chain with an oak tree at the bottom showing you its biomass. And that's represented by the size of the, the pyramid section. And look, the caterpillar, the blue tit and the sparrowhawk. And you can see that they get smaller and smaller uh, and there's less and less biomass getting passed on. And the reason it has a pyramid shape is because of that energy that gets lost at each trophic level, meaning less gets stored as biomass. Now, because of this, the loss of energy at each level, a food chain tends to be no more than four or maybe five at a push trophic levels. Because by that point, from the original energy that we started with in the producer, there's so little that can get passed on to the top level. It just can't support any more organisms. We can actually calculate the percentage transfer of biomass between trophic levels. For example, from the producers to the primary consumers, in this case, we've got 82 divided by 907 times 100. So 9% of the energy from the oak tree has gone into the caterpillars as biomass.